Hello, and today we are going to show you how to use Playlist on the Genos. Um, this is a request from a few of the guys that watch the channel. Uh, if you are watching the channel, please do remember to like the video and click subscribe. Um, it helps me to get more people to see the channel and share the, the good free news and advice that I give. Um, so today we are looking at this little button over here called Playlist. Now, if I push this button, Currently, this is what you'll see. And this is my list of songs uh, arranged in however I want them. So you can see at the top, I've actually called this a concert list. So if I wanted to play a concert, this is the list of songs that I can pull up. However, today, I'm going to start a new one. So what I'm going to do is press new at the top. And it says a new playlist will be created. Continue, yes. Okay, I want to do this. Okay, so now... All I need to do is find songs that I've created and created registration memories for, because this is effectively what it will do. It will take all your songs that you've got in your filed away on your Genus hard drive and put them into some sort of um, useful list, as it were. So what I need to do to add to my um, list here is simply go to where it says list, and you can see my well in fact here you've got my usb stick so i'm going to use my usb stick for today so for example if i want to add never ending story i highlight it and at the top of the screen top right hand corner it says add to playlist so yeah okay well, look it's appeared in my playlist as if by magic <laughs> it's so, so so easy um go to my list again morning in cornwall lonely shepherd add to playlist okay and you can keep doing this you simply press list then go down, should have known better, add to playlist. So now I've got three songs there. Okay. Now, here's the fun. Say, for example, you're wanting to play for a, a group of people or friends or a church or whatever. Um, the song, the first one at the moment is number one, Never Ending Story. However, if I use the little down key, which is located on the screen here... And I press down. See what's happening? I can move them up. I can shuffle the order of the songs to suit what I want to play. So if I want to start with The Lonely Shepherd, I can move Never Ending Story into slot number two. Okay. And that's what I can do. Uh, and then, <clears throat> once I've created my little list of songs, and somebody did say does it have to be something that's already stored on the keyboard? And the answer is yes, because obviously what would you put into the playlist if you didn't have anything on it? Um, so you need to create your registration banks as you would do normally. So again, if you go to list, I can pick them off my USB stick or if I've got them stored on the keyboard itself, I can say I want to add cabaret, add to playlist. Now I've got a combination of what's in the genos and what's on my usb stick into a playlist and now my final thing that i want to do is if i click at the top where it says save i can give it a, a name so if i click save here and i just call this uh, music book or book one so this is maybe my music book that I have on my music stand. This makes sense now. So if I go to my music book, music book one, there's the list of the songs that's in my music. Uh, and I can automatically load the registration. I can do all various things like that. If, if for example, I want to go to Morning in Cornwall and click Edit, what I can do now is when this file loads... So morning in Cornwall. Say I want to start for some crazy reason on registration number 10. Okay. I can do that. So once I've done that, then just simply click the little cross in the top right hand corner. And you see now on the screen where it says Shepherd Morning Cornwall. Just to the right hand side of that, there's a number 10. Which is going to tell me when I choose... When I load, watch what happens. In fact, if I quickly show you on the screen as well. So I press load, and look what's happened. 
registration 10 has automatically loaded. So if I go to Neverending Story and load that one, the 10 disappears. However, back to Morning in Cornwall, load the registration number 10 loads automatically. It's really handy so it knows what you want to do. In this case, I'm going to go edit and say load registration 1, which makes complete sense. So now, if I load it, it changes to registration 1. Okay. If you click info, it will show you all the information for those registrations that it's loaded. So I can look at what's happening with the voices on the left, right 1, right 2, right 3. See here on the screen? So I've got registration down the left hand side, my left hand voice next across, right one, right two, right three. And then if I choose to click on style, it will also tell me what style I've got highlighted and selected in that bank. So I know for my first two registrations, it's going to play Ethereal Movie. And it's also using a, a multi pad. Registration number two. And I know now, because of the list, that when I get to registration three, it's going to start Pop Evergreen. And there it is. So it's a handy way of visualizing and seeing what's behind the registrations. So to get to that information, all I do is press info. Okay. And then that displays. The list again on the screen just showing you is going to take you to the list of your registrations that you've already got all over the keyboard so say for example september i've got i will wait for you if i click add to playlist at the top right hand corner that's now added to my music boot one so even though you've got registrations dotted all over the different place in the in the keyboard you can bring them together in some sort of sense as a music book or you can call this, instead of Music Boot 1, you could have a list of all your Latin songs, all your big band stuff, and call it Big Band, Latin, Waltz, Swing, whatever you want to call it. It's a really handy, 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 handy filing system um, for your registrations. And it works brilliantly. So, for example, if I want to change my list now, I can tap where it says Music Boot 1 and go to Friends Songs, Continue. Then come out of there, and these are songs that I've chosen to play for friends. I am, I said, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Dream, blah, blah, blah. And again, if I want to move and play Bridge Over Troubled Water last, all I do is highlight it and then press the down button to move it to the bottom of the list. And then all you do is click Append Playlist, uh, choose what you want it to save it as. It'll say it'll be appended, is that correct? So yes. So now when I call this list up for friends for songs, um, in fact I didn't say we did that. So let's move that back down there. Click append playlist, friends songs, yes. Okay, so that's done now. And then if I go and call up my list again, it will move uh, bridge to trouble, bridge over troubled water down to the bottom of the list. So music book. Save. Okay. Right, so back to my main list. Load the concert list. And this has got 25 songs in there. And again, you can see the one at the bottom where it's got number one. That's going to call up registration one. Load. There you go. Go straight to it. And that's how you work through it, guys. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, you've got registration freeze if you want to on the menu. So if you are going to create a new list, you simply press new at the top. A new play will be created. Yes, okay, continue. And then hit list and pick your song. So like my way. Okay, I'll have that one. And that appears now in my new playlist. So if I wanted to call this my Sinatra playlist, I click save, save here, and I can then call it Sinatra. Sinatra. Oh, it helps if I kill a nut. There we go. Sinatra. 
click OK. And now you can see my title at the top is Songs from Sinatra. So if I've got any other songs on here, I'm not sure I have. Uh, let's have a look. Let's pretend for the moment that um, he sang Chinatown and All of Me. I'm sure he did at some point. Add to playlist. Um, that's now added to my Sinatra. Once you've added on and you've got your list final, obviously always make sure you click save. Save here. Done. Yes. So now your list is resaved. And again, so if I mentioned earlier, when you append the playlist, if you move things around, always save as well. Sinatra, save here. Okay. Yes. Right. And there you have it. It's basically a filing system for your songs. That's that's what it is. Um, and there, there we have. There's not a lot more I can suggest or say or do. <laughs> it's all there. Um, edit, I've already shown you. If, for example, you've got the music score, you can load the score. Or if you've got lyrics or text that relates to it, if it's a text file. Um, maybe, and I know certain players will have even a text file that will say either the chords or have notes that relate to when they play. You can say, okay, I want to load a text file and it'll look for the file. You can specify where it is uh, and then come out of there and it will do it. It will load it. So if I load that now, obviously there's no text file to associate with it. Um, but it pulls up my registration. It's loaded number one, as it says on the screen, and I can play away. And then when I go to my next song on the list, I can press load there, and it loads up my registrations. As you can see here, look, one, two, six, nine, and ten are highlighted. Those are for the first time through, for the bridge, middle, for the end. My way, load that one. I've got one, two, seven and eight and ten and again depending on how you play or what how you set your registrations up it will call those up automatically um, i hope this is giving you a little bit of information behind how playlist works and obviously remember if you've got a registration that's got a midi file or a wav file linked to it it will automatically link and find everything so when you for example if i go back to my um, concert list here it is. Uh, I know if I highlight Rhinestone Cowboy, press load, it loads my backing file and it will play the file that's linked. Unfortunately, at the moment, that's not the one. But you've got things like Chinatown. If I load that, it loads the backing. So it's a really very, very powerful. Well, effectively, if you're playing and you've already set everything up and you know what you're doing, this is the only screen you need to stay on for the entire performance because your songs are all queued up in order. And, um, yeah, you can't really go wrong. It's, it's, it's all here on the screen. So I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, it, it is one of the, the nice features on the Genos, although it's I think it was stolen from another manufacturer's idea. But that's what seems to be happening at the moment. It seems like um, companies just keep looking at other companies and trying to mimic instead of innovate. Um, and I'm hoping Genos 2, when it does appear, will be one of those innovative instruments because that will be amazing. Uh, until next time, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't, <laughs> who cares? You're not paying anything for it. Um, so, so take care. Have a good day. Take care. All the best.